Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in. Glad to have you all back. Yes, I'm admiring my newly acquired Mantis spacesuit. I'm not afraid to use this to defend my home and my family. But you sure as hell don't look like any spacer I've seen before. Your broadcast made it sound like you're in trouble. So let me get this straight. You heard a distress call and you flew all the way down here. What are you, some sort of priest or good Samaritan? I didn't know people like you were real, but I got a heap load of problems. And I'm willing to pay my share for the help. A reward is nice, but I'm happy to help. I don't know what game you're playing, but I guess I'm in. Used to be four families that list help set up stakes in this system. We rarely saw eye to eye in the best of times, and believe me true, these ain't the best of times. Spacers started raiding and it's been getting worse. Only a matter of time before they end us all. <laughs> Unless you're willing to help some hard-working, pig-headed settlers out. Who are the four families? The Wens and the Banners are farmers like me. Jacqueline the Mare and her daughter have some mining operation with dreams of hitting it big. I've tried in the past to get us to work together, but you don't join List unless you have a healthy dollop of obstinacy. Can you tell me about List? The League of Independent Settlers. Good meaning fools happy to set colonists up in an independent space. The promise is freedom. True freedom. If you can fend off all the spacers and pirates, the settled systems can throw at you. Spacers are a plague on the settled systems. No arguments here. The spacers have taken out the family's list satellites, so we can't even talk to each other. Isolate and eliminate a classic tale. You fix the Lopez satellite and I'll open a secure channel and we can sync up and get the lay of the land. And then get all of our satellites operational. It's time to get to work. It might be I'm getting caught up in the moment. But I actually feel <laughs> optimistic for once. Thanks. Okay, let's go and find these satellites and repair it for this dude and the rest of these farmers here. Hi, Captain. Good to see you. Back at the helm once again. This is gonna modify this ship. I'm not. I'm not impressed with this ship. I'm gonna be honest with shields nor the actual starboard port of the ship. I'm, it's Fuck. really, I'm not impressed. Why wouldn't there be enemy spaceships waiting for me in orbit? I am not one bit surprised. Almost had a near collision there. They definitely have tore my shields and their parents my hull to shreds. Down to about 50, under 50% 50 integrity. This is not going well. They definitely have the numbers game, man. I'm a bit rusty as far as space combat, but the more counters that I have with enemy spaceships, better integrated out get space combat in here. Oh my goodness, we're at what, zero hull integrity, basically. I don't know how I'm still alive. I'm sure it's offline. It's a miracle. I said, I'm a This is a new ship, and I'm, I'm not impressed with his combat skills at all. I feel like my original ship, which I put a new laser on there, an extra laser, Definitely feel like that ship was better firepower equipped. What the 
that ship out of here. Turn it to space dust. It's an absolute, complete, utter miracle that I was able to survive that encounter. I'm just glad I did. Like I said, I'm not really impressed with this ship's combat skills, or maybe I'm just that rusty. To bring you guys this capture has been absolute hell. You have no idea. But, as you see, got some early action. This should be a good one. Put on your seatbelts. Also, Forgive me for the rudeness, please turn your max settings on your player for maximum quality, which is 4K60. Sit back, like I said, strap your seatbelts on, and enjoy the ride. Let's collect some of these items from these ships. I was actually trying to take out the engines so I can actually board one of these ships which I've never done so far and I actually had to put the upgrade in the skill tree to lock on to the subsystems of the enemy ships so I can target the engines so I can basically take out the engines to be able to board an enemy ship and take it over just had somebody troll on social media on one of the posts that I put out there about the game being a visual masterpiece and they basically quoted me and said, the visual masterpiece with laughing emojis. And my response to them was, well, yeah, it is. It's my opinion. And if, if somebody like Digital Foundry has praised this game visually and everything else that's in this game, they literally praised it. Digital Foundry, who is well known throughout the industry and make big bucks to do what they do. If they praised it, I told him, what does his laugh emojis do or change? Not a darn thing. Because my opinion, I still stand on that, which is this is a visual masterpiece. This game is absolutely amazing looking. The green light is on, which means communications is up. Sending the data on the other satellites. You do hear me, right? Hello? Picking you up loud and clear, out, man. Now that's a weight off my shoulders. It's gonna take some time dealing with someone competent. I don't suppose you want a job working hydroponics. No one ever says yes to that. Huh. <laughs> Once you repair the other satellites, I'll open a channel to the other families. Like, how can you hate on this game? Like, look what they have been doing. It's not even a main quest. This has nothing to do with the main storyline. It's just the random side quest that I encountered on my journey in the game. Just exploring the game. I'm out here repairing satellites like I'm direct TV or something in space. To help out the settlers and the colonists that's located down on that planet RNA2. And we're off. We got you now. Oh, now do you? We'll see about that. Pulling evasive maneuvers here. That's what everybody likes to do. Try to pull a numbers game. It's not going to help them. It's not going to save them. Time to die. Not if you die first. About 21 hull integrity. Still holding solid. Space dust once again. Taking heavy enemy fire. Shields are still holding solid. Making evasive maneuvers. Targeting the enemy ship subsystems. 
target everything. Get more of them down. It was all that tough talk. I thought I was gonna die. Finish it. Obliterate it. Now let's go pick up some of this cargo or whatever these ships was carrying. That I'm quite sure we could make of some good use. Absolutely. Zero G gimbal. Yes, I'm sure that would definitely be of some use. I accidentally opened my photo mode, which is somebody had told me basically if you take photos in the game, whenever you go in places from planet to planet or Whenever the loading screens pop up, whatever screenshot you take in the game will show up as your screensaver for a loading screen, which is actually an awesome feature. And I just really noticed it either this playthrough or the last time I was playing. I was like, oh, there goes, that's actually the photo that I took like two or three videos ago of me traversing through space, just sitting in my ship on third person view looking at myself at the helm of the ship right next to either, it wasn't a star, it was a planet. It might have been a star, I'm not 100% sure, but I know it was a decent screenshot. Like I said, this game's a visual spectacle and masterpiece from Bethesda Studios. Compared to all their other games that they've come out with like the Skyrims and the Fallouts etc etc which the graphics weren't the main focal point of those games it was the gameplay it was the features it was the quests it was the side quests it was the random encounters and different characters and dialogue all the content that the game had itself it wasn't about the visuals this one Starfield took all of those things and said we're going to give you the best visuals that we've can from those same type of games that we've made that were that that's their specialty in making rpg driven dialogue quest for days side quest for days gaming and said here do it in space now instead of any set world they don't just give you one linear location they give you a thousand or over a thousand locations. Lopez to Banda? Banda, you there? You got the satellites back up? I had help. Big help from a friend. <laughs> I didn't know you had friends. <laughs> I'm turning over a new leaf. Not vain? have to meet all the families oh i bet jackie's gonna love that i haven't exactly talked to her yet she hasn't forgiven you you know not sure i have either it's ancient history we all need to get over it see you soon all right connection closed and as good people glad he's willing to meet time to get to fixing the other satellites Just out here trying to make a difference and bring, bring some peace, justice, and equality across time and space and the continuum. And just like that, we are off.
RNA V or RNA 5, I'm going to assume. Yes, it's the fifth celestial body or body next to whatever star is located over here. My gut feeling tells me the closer we get to that satellite, most but certainly, there's gonna be some enemy spacers that jump right out of a craft drive and put me under attack. I can just, I can just sense it. This, this, the satellite is just here on the dark side of this planet, just by itself, and it's broken. But yet there aren't any enemies here. Mm -mm. It sound, it's, if it looks like a trap, it smells like a trap. It's a trap. It's a setup. Shields are dropping. Our shields are holding at 50%. Shields are dropping quick. Make the base of maneuvers. Open fire, giving everything we got. Our shields are really down to a minimum. Shields are offline and we're taking a beat. But our hull integrity seems to be holding. We're lucky. Hold on. Let's pull a bank maneuver and get this enemy ship off our flank. Ooh, down to about 5% hull integrity. Give them everything we got. Get them fast and hard. Space dust. AKA Space Ghost, coast to coast. Planet to planet, nebula to nebula. That was what I like to call a real close encounter. It's a miracle I survived that. Like I said, bringing you guys this capture was not easy. It wasn't. It was not. Believe me when I tell you, I went through Space hell to bring you this footage. Accidentally bringing up the photo photo mode again. It's an accident. Because I'm actually trying to repair the hull of the ship. So let's initiate some repairs. Definitely need it. Don't want to take any chances of some more enemy random space pirates popping up and trying to shoot me out of existence. Can't have that. initiated repairs back to about 40 or 35 percent hull integrity be all right hopefully now let's what do you guys say we go over here to the satellite and repair it to see where the next objective leads us to hopefully we don't have to battle multiple spaceships and it's just us again it's like like i said they're doing the numbers game we're gonna send three or four spaceships at you and it's just one. It's crazy because this is a new spaceship and I'm not impressed. I'm not. Another satellite up and broadcasting. Lopez to Lemaire. Jacqueline, are you there? Alban? How the hell? I'm almost glad to hear your voice. Listen, we need to meet, all of us. These spacers have got us on the ropes. What sort of game are you playing? We're not going to fall for another of your cons. No game. No rules. Times have changed. We need to move on or we'll all be the saddest little footnote in history. We can meet, but it'll be on my ship. Fine. Huh. I closed the call. So that's good old Jackie. Get to the other families. Hopefully they'll give us a better reception. They better be paying me some big bucks for this. I done repaired about three or four or five satellites. Something like that. Prepared a couple of satellites and have stared the brink of death in the face. 
more times than I'd like to count. I better get a nice credit payout when this is all said and done. I, I don't want to turn into a villainous character where I have to start like getting on a, on a bloodlust run for what they for me feeling like I'm not being compensated properly. Man, look at that. Place is looking like Saturn slash Uranus. You don't even gotta finish it. If you know your astrology and astronomy, you know the planets. Like I said, this game's a visual work of art, spectacle, masterpiece. Anyone that says different, you need to get your eyes checked. You're a liar, you're blind. You're obviously blind. As a person who played Minecraft and I tried to crap on Minecraft because of the graphics and then when I actually was talked into sitting there and playing it and giving it a chance and I did, I actually learned that the game was awesome and then I actually overlooked the graphics because of the gameplay and the creativity that the game had in itself so I was willing to overlook the graphics. This, is, this game is not even on that level where, oh I need to overlook the graphics, no I'm looking at the graphics, I see craters on this moon craters and I could throw shots at a popular YouTuber that isn't really an Xbox fan like that He's, he likes PlayStation but I'm not going to do that and be the bigger person but if you're tuning in and you're aware of many content creators throughout YouTube you know who I'm talking about and I didn't even say their name I don't even have to say this, this person's name gotta be like you gotta be crapping me you know I'm gonna keep it I'm gonna keep things friendly here verbally friendly like you've got to be crapping me if I really want to I can fly to the dark side of this moon this on this planet, which I know this isn't a planet. This is definitely a moon. I know my celestial bodies. I know what a moon looks like. When? When? This does not sound good. When? Please. We may be the three families now. And that's the last of them. Stranger, let's meet up on the mayor's ship. I'll square away payment. But I, have a feeling I don't know why I didn't take screenshots or in-game screenshots when I was here, but it's crazy. I'm still in this location after this capture. I'm definitely going to make sure I take me some, some in-game screenshots for some screensavers. And let's make our way to the space station. What do you say? Looking at the final frontier. I said, I, I can't get bored with this game. It's, it's never, never get bored with it. Never. And I'm not even focusing on the main quest. I'm not rushing to do a main quest. The main quest could take me years. If I really just sat up here and did all side quests, I'm going to play this game for years. Not a day, not a weekend, years. Mind you, I have a variety of games that I own. And I'm a Game Pass subscriber. I have the best that it has to offer when it comes to gaming on Xbox. Because I don't care what nobody's talking about. I really 
don't like console warring because I'm happy with my console. Let's go on and initiate our docking sequence, please. Thank you. Releasing clamps. And we are now docked. Let's go on and board the ship and see what's going on. I got on. my eyes on you. Hope you all enjoyed this play through like I enjoy it and had a nightmare of a time bringing it to you. Let's go on and release the clamps and initiate our docking sequence. I'm going to get ready to get up on out of here. Hope you all stay to the end. And if you do or don't, you're still the best. Truly amazing. Please don't forget to smash that like button, share the vid, leave a comment, hit the subscribe bell notification. I'll see you on my next one. Peace and be well, everyone. Noob out. First things first, I'm pretty sure the spacer's got the wings. No contact. All of them? My God. Shit. They were good people. They died. Needless. Because we couldn't get our act together. That's rich coming from you. You've scammed me time and time again, Alden. The spacers are a threat to us all, Jackie. And that, that is the salient point. Mistakes were made, we need to get past that. What I'm proposing is a mutual defense pact, nothing else. Each of us throws in our ships, men, materials, and whatnot, enough to protect all of our asses. I wouldn't give you one solitary ounce of Helium-3 if my life depended on it. The problem is, it does. I think we all need to cool off. Stranger, a word?